different ways, okay? And you would like me to take that back? I can't take it back because it happens to be true. I said it's been true for one million years, approximately a million years, perhaps a little bit longer than that. So you stand by those comments? Well, I don't want to lie. Mr. Oh, President, we have what, a lot of Here's questions. what she Mr. wants President, to say. Let's a get to the audience questions tonight. A rich and famous person has no advantage over anyone else. Well, you do have an advantage. And I say unfortunately, but... That's the way it is. You said fortunately or unfortunately. Well, fortunately but Mr. President, or unfortunately we have a lot of audience for questions to get to tonight. I want to go back to the audience. We've got Danielle Rieger. She works as an oral surgery assistant. She's a Republican activist from Derry. She was a New Hampshire delegate for you in 2020. What's your question? Hi, thank you so much for coming to New Hampshire thank to you. answer our questions. My question is regarding the economy. Over the past two years, we have seen the prices for everything skyrocket. From food to gas to utilities and insurance costs, many people's bills are up several hundred dollars a month, including mine. If elected president again, what is the first thing you would do to help bring down the cost to make things more affordable? Drill, baby, drill. <laughs> you know what that means. So, we were energy independent. We were soon going to be energy dominant. And nobody had ever done what I did. We got oil down to $1.87. Actually, it fell lower than that in some cases. We had to save the oil companies that the price was getting. So we were doing incredibly. We had the greatest economy in the history of our country, probably the greatest economy in the history of the world. We were energy independent, soon to be energy dominant. We were going to be bigger than Russia and Saudi Arabia put together times two. We have more liquid gold under our feet than any other nation, any other nation. And these stupid fools ended it. And energy went from $1.87 and even lower for gasoline, for a car. They went from $1.87 to five, six, seven, eight, and even $9. And your electricity bills went through the roof, your heating bills went through the roof. And that's what started inflation. And it hasn't stopped because people are paying now for bacon and for eggs and for the two and three times what it was just a little while ago. We created the greatest economy in history. A big part of that economy was I get, got you the biggest tax cuts in the history of our country, bigger than the Reagan cuts, bigger than any. And, and also, Caitlin, also, as you know, we got the biggest regulation and regulatory cuts we this place was rocking and then we were given a gift from china and china paid a big price and let me tell you something i took in hundreds of billions of dollars in taxes from china but prior to COVID coming in and then i rebuilt the economy again a second time but we had prior to COVID coming in as as from china from wuhan which i said it came from wuhan everybody said oh you're wrong about that you're wrong it came from wuhan i said it right from day one so we had the greatest economy in the world. Here's the story. Uh, they made energy so high, and energy is all invasive. It is massive as an industry and as a cost. It lifted everything. If Mr. you President, made, if you made economy, donuts, if you made, no matter what you did, and we had inflation, the likes of which I guess we haven't had, they said, for 52 years, but I think more than that. We had no inflation. We had the lowest energy prices we've had in decades. This country was rocking and rolling. And by the way, we had the most secure border in the history of our Mr. country. President, we have, we, have we have more questions on the economy. I want to make sure we get to all of those. As you know, the U.S. right now could be just three weeks away from defaulting on its debt. That could mean millions of jobs lost, people not getting their Social Security payments. People believe it would put the U.S. economy into a recession. Um, on that topic, I want to bring in Marta Cervea, a student here at St. Anselm. 